This notebook demonstrates how XGBoost handles missing data using both native and scikit-learn interfaces. As usual, begin with loading required libraries and setting seed for reproducibility. Then, create a tiny, valid dataset representing samples where each one is described by five features. Value of each feature is taken from uniform distribution. It is completely random and does not make any sense. Then, we are going to create its copy, but this time putting in some missing values. Finally, to make the algorithm work, we'll also need a target label. Let's generate it. Now, let's check how native interface works, both for valid and missing datasets. In the first place, perform a sanity check to see if everything works in normal conditions. To do this, create a dictionary holding training parameters, the matrix object from the full dataset, and finally, perform cross-validation. You see that there are no errors reported and some output is also generated. It seems everything works as expected. Let's check how it will behave using the matrix containing missing data. We can create it like the previous one, but this time it is important to specify the missing argument. Its value is the default representation for missing value. It depends on the convention. One might use minus one or 999. In this case, we are using NumPy's default np.nan. Now we can repeat cross-validation. You see that there was also no errors. This confirms the fact that algorithm works also with missing data. Let's see if the same behavior is obtained when using scikit-learn interface. Begin with creating a dictionary holding parameters that will be passed to an estimator. Now we can perform two-fold cross-validation to check if the algorithm is working. Code cells number 12 and 13 presents the usage for valid and missing data respectively. You see that scikit-learn by default treats np.nan as missing values. In both cases, we are also getting some output without any errors.